Whenever you're on draft night, we, you were on with us. You had a denim jacket on. You looked unbelievable. You had a good beard. You're right in the middle of the quarantine, real action. And the Lions had their pick, and they picked Jeff Akuda. And we said, what does that mean to you as somebody who has to play against that team twice? You said, well, we're going to probably have to find out uh, whether or not he can figure out what an NFL defense is quickly. We might target him early before he learns what's going to go happen. You did that. I mean, 10 times you went after Akuda, seven times successfully, a lot of yards. Was that an actual thought game plan, or were you just going in there like, we have a rookie over here, we have to remember that, because there's just things that he's not going to be able to know until he learns from experience? Well, it actually wasn't a concerted effort. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like I was looking over and going, oh, I'm going after 30. Um, because the fact that he's a talented player, I mean, he is uh, very athletic, fast. Um, and I said what I said on draft night, I meant it. I mean, there's been numerous guys over the years who you've gone against in our division who you know, hey, you better, you better throw some completions and touchdowns on him early because this guy is going to figure it out and be a hell of a player. And I think he has that ability for sure. Um, you know, we hit a couple hit a couple passes, but it wasn't like I was, you know, really trying to target him. You know, their whole plan was to really take away Demonte. They they doubled him most of the game. Um, you know, so whether it was Okuda or one of the other guys on him, you know, they had safety help the majority of the time he was in there. Obviously he came out uh, in the third quarter and they went to some more single safety stuff. Um, but uh, but there was a lot of help on the outside for uh, for both those guys for a good part of the game. Do you is that a thing you do like if a guy let's say a guy goes out do you ever just like Pat says talk to, he tells a story about how Peyton Manning has watched a guy throw a ball at a guy 15 times in a row is that something that is like do you guys recognize it in real time and go right after him if a guy comes like if a guy gets hurt and comes yeah, comes out yeah. and they put a new guy in yeah yeah I mean I, I think that's for sure depending on who that guy is you know if they're putting in a uh, veteran backup uh, maybe not if they're putting a guy they just signed off the practice squad you know you might might test him a couple times you see the number 40 something walk out there you're like okay well <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy yeah. good luck Bob. Although, yeah although uh, uh rogers cromarty wore a number in the 40s for a little while and i felt like uh he was one of the rare 40s so you're you're not gonna maybe throw over every single time at but there's some numbers and you see them all the time in camp like you see a, like a young free agent or you know rookie free agent who you know, has just a, you know, a linebacker number that's, you know, a really bad one or, you know, wearing number 60 maybe is, you know, kind of been a, a number that, or, or, you know, you know the numbers, like you're a, a linebacker or a fullback and you're wearing maybe 49 and it's like, ooh, you know, <laughs> something else or you're a receiver wearing, you know, a 30 number or something, it's like, you know, 20 number. It's like, yeah, I don't know, man. You might need to get some in the 80s there to get some respect on that name. Ah! So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great and you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now, you go to GetRoman.com. You get $10 off and free two-day shipping on Roman Swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling every time you get in the sack. Now, let's get back to the fornicate in action. And then, you know, there's been a lot of guys who have been, you know, had great camps and couldn't wait to get out of numbers. There's just a few numbers that are kind of marked, I think, for uh, – not making the team. The story that I that AJ was referring to there, it was my first year in Indianapolis, and they had a corner get hurt or something. And I saw this terrible number come trotting on the field. And Peyton, you see his massive head. Literally just watch the guy come off the sideline all the way across the field, and he just stayed on him. And then literally you watch him make a check, basically. And that guy, eight straight plays. It was just like, boom, bang, boom, bang. You're done for, fella. And I was like, man, this is a cold world out here. This is a cold world out here. Yeah, that happens. That definitely happens. Um, it's happened many times over the years for us. You know, you hate to see a guy get hurt, but you're always watching what number's coming in here. And then, uh, you know, quick little uh, review of the scouting report in your head about the backups. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, this guy's slow. Oh, okay. I do recall.